quick-thinking neighbour has pulled off a daring rescue after a Brisbane home went up in flames. Rushing towards the burning house, Pete Campbell was on a mission to save his neighbours Clive and John, who were trying to find their dog. Where are they, mate? Quick, get out! I want to get my dog. Here's your dog here, here! Your dog's at the window! Come and get him out of the window! Quick, get out, jump out! You're going to have to get out the window! Quick, run, oh, it's about to explode! Oh, Pete joins us now from his truck in Rockley. Pete, that's some pretty scary vision. The pressure was on. What were your thoughts when you first ran over to the home? Yeah, that looked pretty serious. There's a, a few people already there. But, yeah, it looked pretty bad when, when I first got there. So the problem was that um, the homeowners were out, but the dog was still in. They were determined, weren't they, to get that dog? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that dog's pretty special to Clive and to John. Like, Clive lost his wife a couple of months ago. And, yeah, the, the dog is pretty special to him. And he, he wanted to get out. You could see the poor fellow wanted to get out. It was such a frightening situation, though. Uh, yeah, they certainly have had a rough time. I understand that uh, John's mobility scooter was charging. They're concerned that that might have caused the fire? Yeah, that's correct. That's what they're thinking at the moment. They're, the, it's, um, they're having problems with them, the mobility scooters and all the electric scooters doing that at the moment. Oh, gosh, it was rough. We're just watching a bit of vision of them now crying and, you know, obviously you're the hero of the hour. How concerned were you about your own safety? I mean, if there had been an explosion, you were right in the firing line there. Uh, no, I was just worried about um, John and Clive because John, obviously, he was a bit confused. He wanted to get back inside. But there, there are other people there. They're just the same as me. They all did the exact same thing. They helped everyone. and you know, The whole street, the whole neighbourhood's great. They did so much. It's good. Yeah, it would make so much sense to just walk away from the dog, but, uh, you know, who can do that? Um, you were you fortunate can't. enough that the dog made it too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the dog's fine. Um, I spoke to Clive yesterday. His son has was out with his carer trying to relax because he's got some special needs and he was really struggling with it. But that Clive, was. we sat down, had a beer yesterday, had a chat. He's going to stay in a motel for a while and then they work things out from there. Well, Pete, you're a good man to live next door to. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he, all of us helped the same. It was great. And I go, everyone stood up and helped and did exactly what was needed. I, I think I sounded like a bit probably aggressive, but, yeah, we just wanted to get it sorted. Someone has to take charge. Pete, you're a bit of a hero this morning and uh, what a great neighbourhood. Thanks very much. Thank you kindly and just remember to let Carl know he's got long arms and cello pockets for the GoFundMe page, eh? Oh, the GoFundMe. OK. <laughs> Carlos. All right, I'm going to get you some new glasses too, big fella. I love it. What a hero. <laughs> Good on you, legend. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?